What good show we do today fellas, Onions here and I'm bringing you a video update about Rust with the experimental version. What I was what I was initially gonna do is make a video about the new version of Rust when it was gonna come out but it seems like that is not happening. They're actually gonna be slowly transitioning into the experimental and making it the official version while the other the other version of the game that they're not working on anymore is gonna be the outdated one. Anyway this is pretty much what it looks like. Rust, it officially starts making maps generated from uh, from a seed, like Minecraft, sort of. And uh, you just type in a number and it generates you a map, which is really cool. But the only problem I'm seeing with this is how are they going to incorporate cities? Even though Minecraft did that with like placing block chunks areas where they have, uh, where they have actual, actual villagers and whatever. Uh, I'm just wondering how they're gonna do for randomly generated maps and if there's gonna be like super awesome seeds that you can use where there's like five cities right next to each other making a huge area but for now they're just making a map that is randomly generated and every time I look either right or left it really really lags that's because my video settings here are cranked up and you can probably tell by the super reflective water which I'll get into a second but basically there's basic functionality in the game nothing special i mean the inventory just looks fantastic i love this over anything else that we had although it's not complete there's no labels for items and such but uh one thing they actually did which is amazing is that you can place clothing in any slot of your inventory i really hope they keep this because actually sorting the clothing and putting them in the right space is just stupid we should just be able to place it wherever we want and it can just dress up automatically which will increase our heisting speed and whatever and uh, rating speed where we pick up the other person's shit really quickly and I guess they didn't want to give us pants because they like willies anyway so that's the inventory there's no labels uh, some items are non-functional like the uh, what is this like the bow and the pistol you can't actually use them in game yet but all you can use is a hatchet which is labeled with a picture of a hatch, it doesn't have a label. And uh, every time you hit a tree, you get wood. But eventually the trees disappear, which is kind of cool. And you also have a rock. And you can't really tell the difference because you just gotta try it out. You get two hatchets, one of them is a rock. Kind of confusing, they should really update that. But they're working on that slowly. And uh, hitting a tree with a rock also seems to work. It's just that the server is really, really lagging. You can see the delay between the item appearing in my inventory and such. And the chat actually works, so that's that's something. They're slowly updating it, and like I said, every time I turn this way, it lags like crazy. So I'll just start facing the water again. And once you, oh no, gotta go back. Not very professional of me making a laggy video, but you get the point. You shouldn't be switching to experimental if you still want to play Rust. And uh, there's the tree; it's gone. So if you hit the tree enough times, it will disappear. And uh, that's that for game functionality. That's pretty much it. There's uh, actually rocks spawning and wood, but they s both of those items actually give you wood, so rocks not really doing much. And the water, it's just glorious. But before we go into the water, you can actually place items on top of each other, and if that lag disappears from the server... Oh, there we go. Yeah, that was really laggy. I'm pretty sure I only placed one fireplace, and it placed two. Oh, no. That was just in my imagination, apparently. Servers tell me wrong. Uh, if this would place... There we go. Oh, okay, that's not right. There's three fireplaces now. Like I said, experimental version. Not recommending switching to it. Uh, but campfires actually work. Let me demonstrate this for you. Uh, it actually cooks the chicken. Um, why is there an option to ignite? There we go. If that would ignite... There we go. And if we open the campfire, oh my god, this is really bad. The, you know what, I'll, I'll come back to this. Like I said, the campfire is functional, the chicken actually cooks. It's just that you can't eat the chicken, is the only problem. Uh, placing boxes is actually pretty good too now. You can place them on top of each other, which is really, really comfortable. Because you can stack boxes up into the sky if you haven't seen any other videos. Uh, but uh, when the map was smaller and... It wasn't changed to this map, which is super laggy. They were like towers of boxes on top of each other. And you can obviously open wooden boxes and shit and drop stuff inside of it. And this lag, I swear to god, it's really bad. And this random piece of wood just appeared out of nowhere, okay. 
So boxes work, campfires work, they just need improving, I guess. And uh, the last thing that they added in the recent update, which was just like right now, is swimming in water. That's, that's kind of cool, they didn't add the swim animation, I hope they do that. I gotta turn around. I hope they had the, sm the swimming animation, they're already working on it, so I'm expecting that to come out as soon as possible. But it's really cool how we can actually go into the water and not die instantly, like in the old version. And the last feature I wanted to talk about, and oh my god, that mountain is really laggy, I gotta turn away from it. The last feature I want to talk about is third person. Now that's really cool. I actually, I actually like the fact that they're giving us the option for third person because running would be much more interesting. So if you want to go into third person, you gotta hit F3, and you sort of have this this guy right here, which you can't really look at his face, and everything clips on him for now. Every time you turn around, like the sweater goes through, and you can actually look at that wee wee. Oh my god. Thank god they censored that, I don't really want to see a lot of men running around with their penis hanging out. But the point is, third person is sort of working, they just gotta improve it slightly in terms of modeling. But running, jumping, and all that is working. All they gotta do is the swimming animation and then you'll be able to swim as uh, any other person would when walking into water and uh, one weird thing they did is add running backwards I'm not sure why they did that running backwards is not a really good feature I think they'll improve that or make it slower or you'll like backtrack or something because running backwards is very OP when you're running away from people you just turn around start running and shoot at them once the game actually starts becoming complete but that's pretty much all there is in this update really laggy like I said once again and uh, stay tuned for more. Actually, actually, I missed one thing that I wanted to mention is crafting. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It goes into like this loading phase. And then it doesn't craft your fireplace. So the campfire doesn't complete right now. They're hopefully going to fix that because it used to work. Now it doesn't. So, yeah. But that's pretty much it for this version. Next time there's a big update for Rust, I will definitely keep you posted about what's new and sort of have a journey with this experimental version until it becomes the official version all the way through. Every time they will update it, I will, I will release a video. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, peace out guys. Enjoy the penises.